since there was such a big explosion, you gave examples of art and advancement in Europe, and then <laughs> you said we originated near Mesopotamia. <laughs> So how come that 30,000 years ago there's a gigantic advancement in human uh, art and architect, uh, art and things and that such, but then only 5,000 years ago does like writing first appear in Mesopotamia where we started? Great question. Yeah, um, uh, I, I, I don't know that I could, would have a, a very good answer for that necessarily. Uh, it, it's very clear to me from the archaeological record that the, the first humans were behaving in, in every sense as, as human beings. And it just could be that there was no need at, until that point in time to develop that type of form of communication that maybe verbal communication was simply sufficient. Um, so, you know, it doesn't, I don't think the data necessarily precludes the fact that, that once these first humans appeared that there was, would be ongoing technological development. I think that's what you're seeing is essentially data that indicates that when the first humans appeared, they, they very much were human beings. And then once they appeared, there was ongoing technological development. And I think that's what you're, you're seeing with respect to the writing emerging only at that point in time. Now, also, too, is to keep in mind is that when you're looking at the archaeological record, you're looking at essentially, you're capturing a snapshot of what was happening at that time. And the greater the, 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 the number of archaeological remains the greater the, the opportunity of capturing that snapshot. So it could be that that behavior was happening much earlier, but it wasn't very widespread. And so what you're really looking at in the archaeological record is the first widespread use of those types of practices. But it could be that there were still those practices going on, but they just simply weren't widespread.